uh, are we concentrating on liberal education? Uh, 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 in city, you might be. I think this area needs more of liberal education. I am a career counselor on social entrepreneurs, not on like on cases. I am finding that uh, students of younger generation are having multi talented. They are multi talented, especially creative, inclusive, who, they, are, they hardly instructed in other studies. So, are we concentrating on that? See, that's what the whole the whole paradigm of knowledge construction is undergoing a change, right? So, from a university, we are coming to a multiversity, right? Where all these things, constant curriculum change is happening, right? Where new domains, I mean, that's one example I said. So, bioengineering, so it's a technology and a traditional biology, right? Similarly, you can have lots of the edupreneurs, education and entrepreneurship together. So we have a lot of entrepreneurs, right? Entrepreneurship itself is a new domain, right? Where you, you involve. So yes, there are a lot of, you know, there is a hybrid that's coming out. That from a traditional framework, you have some knowledge and you add new. And you come out with a new, new structure of knowledge. So that way the structure of knowledge is getting altered. Have I been able to answer you? Yes, uh, a bit of it, but I, am uh, I, I want to ask uh, because you are involved in the MHRD. Yeah. Uh, any scheme of providing liberal education to the students of this area? See, the setting up of this university, central university, itself is an idea that, you know, when we were trying to map out of where the central university should be located, we said places where you, you do not have central university. So most of them went to the northeast. And then each state where, you know, you look at the location of all the central university, except Bihar, which got two due to different reasons. But uh, you see that all of them have come in an area where, uh, I mean, you had less density of college or higher education. So the, the very coming of a central university here or say central university of Jammu or central university of Kashmir or central university of Haryana, Mahendra, you see, I mean, when you enter the university is completely different when you come out. You see that you know even getting an auto or a, you know a taxi is a very difficult idea. Anybody from Mahindragar? Central University of Haryana? Nobody. But anyway, I'm sure you'll all get a chance to visit there and you will see. You know, these are these were set up in quite remote areas to to give impetus to higher education to the people of you know, look, because any university coming up, coming very near uh, to you also gives a lot of ideas to local people. They also get to know what a university is, what a central university is, what are the benefits of you know being there, how it leads to social mobility, and how it leads to other kind of mobilities that it may offer. So that is one way. Any more questions? Yes. Do we have any language No, no, no. You can ask me as long as I'm able to understand your question. That's okay. I'll be able to address that. Uh, I am from Chandigarh, which is government college, but Kashmir Associate. Um, when a school student, the teacher has adopted the teaching methods in the rural areas. Nowadays, they are using the same methods. Now, what extent this NUPA and the NCRT got success in uh, uh, making this technology and new methods useful to the rural areas uh, in your endeavor to? Okay, one thing, uh, you know, NEPA is a National Institute of Education, Planning and Administration. So we are doing more on planning and administration and other things. We are not inside the classroom. We do a lot of things outside the classroom. We never enter the classroom. So NEPA, you have to excuse. What NCRT is, do, uh, is doing, I know they are doing something, right? But exactly you will have to contact NCRT to ask them. Right? They are doing something. They're, they're, uh, they have got a Central Institute of Educational Technology. Professor Amrin Pehra is there. He is doing lots. They have got a recording studio. They, they do make CDs. They do, make, do, do a lot of things. But I am not very sure. I am not in a position to give you a list or an itinerary of whatever they have done. So you contact anything. Most of the things are there on the websites also. Okay? Yes. In the present time, there is a stress on uh, the, the old bucket syndrome, the history is being uh, twisted to suit the interest of the uh, uh, groups. So, what are your views on that? Like, they are making history just a, bi just a uh, biography of uh, personalities and uh, they are hitting at opponents. Well, so, I have. Uh, I, how social science research is going to uh, deal with that uh, syndrome? See, 
uh, my view is uh, uh, my personal view i may not be able, i will say what is politically correct right <laughs> i'm speaking from a public forum so i may not say my very personal views there but you know what uh, i can say you know because uh, when we see when we begin reading history we we see what is called as historian's craft and can history ever be unbiased right e h car and uh, mark block have said all that so in that sense if history cannot be biased it is actually the state and the science that kind of i have already stated that that what interest that the state take in you know now the it, it plays a very critical role so you know since it cannot it cannot ever be unbiased you know i can interpret the way i want to as per the schools of thought you know you may be subscribing to whatever school of thought and are you from history background history background so you may know better yeah so but yes the state does misuse this uh, you know this ambiguity this objectivity of science so when they try to mix mythology in history or social sciences yes yeah that's what i said the the way of knowing we do not we, i said tenacity authority reasoning and then coming down to the final approach of scientific scientific right so yes they do so if we stick to what sir was saying guru is great and all that you know you do have respect for teachers i respect my teachers as much as i respect uh, my parents but then i do not take either my parents or my teachers as the source of knowledge having respect is different and treating them as source of knowledge is completely different right because i as a woman have fought on several things with my own father despite the fact that he still remains in my heart and my mind as close as ever but i fought with him i fought him with him in several accounts so fighting for an issue is different right respecting a person is different so we may have we may fight uh, me and vinod can have a fight but then we can respect each other right we can fight on several issues you know academically that's okay you know the, but having respect is different that is somewhere being confused thank you so much thank you so much ma'am for a very elaborative and thought provoking talk and uh, the all the point that you have raised such as like uh, uh, crippling expenditure on higher education and uh, necessity of social sciences and how the uh, learner perspective has undergone a sea change and shift from quantitative to qualitative and restructuring in universities so so many po points you have raised uh, in a very short period of time i am very thankful to you once again and i hope all of us have benefited from your talk and ma'am we will keep on keep on troubling you again if there are need arise for uh, this, this kind of presentations so we have political science we have education we have commerce we have english literature geography computer science extension education sociology history area studies now the point is the if you see the theme of this workshop it is philosophical and methodological foundations in social sciences now the point is is it our compulsion to include these faculty members and to waste their time or to get our objective only to get the numbers out of these faculties that we want participants that is why we have taken these faculty members which does not seems to be out of social science query comes to mind and it is new uh, human tendency natural tendency that things will come if you will see all these subjects here or disciplines here the question comes to mind is are we in some compulsion to bring such faculty members from such diverse backgrounds or do we have some objective or vision behind that aap isliye keh rahe hain kyunki hum log organizing team mein se hain ya waqai ye sawal khada hota hai you can raise your questions frankly no problem within that we have to evolve out of it so as you have stated let us keep that we have one objective to basically club all these disciplines so we have and which we will try to explain the second point is why we have kept workshop although i kept in sociology i kept the name as symposium and here uh, dr naresh singla preferred the title workshop although we will try to do so what do we do in workshops learn some skills some communication 
Okay, let us take a workshop in common. How people use the term workshop itself? कब आप लोग हम लोग जाते हैं? We'll go to workshop to have hand-on experience, and then second one is to repair something. So what we are going to do here? Okay, so things is that I'll to take these two words that is we will have hands on knowledge on these things that is whatever issues we are going to discuss and second one is let us try to repair and for that again to say we all belong to the same category that is we are faculty members and we all represent diverse <coughs> regional backgrounds and problems and the learning pedagogies which are very different here we cannot understand everything there you cannot understand so this is a platform where we can share with each other ki hamari samasyaen kya kya hain aur in disciplines ke background par kyunki sirf hamari samasya teaching learning jo pura project hai this is based upon like as has been uh, stated in the initial morning discussions that it is now not that one person will come and will deliver it is not also that it should be which i personally believe it should be focused only on the learners it should be the mixture of both that is it has multiple vantage points if i will try to speak something or any speaker he or she will be able to make sense but when the others like the students in the classroom will speak they will also make sense the holistic process will be teaching learning and for that we need your experience as a teacher as you better understand within your regions what are the problems related to first at the teachers level second at the learners level so we will have those sessions also within that so that is why we are keeping the names as symposium or workshop so this was the objective the objective behind clubbing all these disciplines and bringing them under one umbrella of social sciences we are very clear and now we will start in the end i will say and let us take in the end the votes whether you satisfy with our objectives or not i'll not say here that uh, after whole discussion we'll come to that so now coming back to in the capacity of that a um, role of that uh, discussant only i will say let us start with with my topic that is epistemological foundations in social sciences now if we will start with let us start with epistemology and i would like to have your feedback on that and before we start i can also add few of the writings which say that like one person is who has written a book what is sociology and the author's name is alex inkels and another established sociologist although you can forget those names but the point or issue they raise is very important they say that we in social sciences use the concepts or terms and we assume that we understand those meanings although these meanings have to be defined then we can understand and we will go through these terms and we will see like the simple term is epistemology if anyone has gone through it what do we make sense out of that science of knowledge okay nature of knowledge science of knowledge and how do you things as per the epistemological perspective nature of knowledge also or koi epistemology a knowledge is structured a knowledge is structured structured knowledge i will say or koi अच्छा चलिए मान लेते हैं लेट एस अज्यूम सो दैट दिस टर्म वी हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू बट इसके आगे के टर्म पे चलते हैं एपिस्टेमोलॉजी ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस सो व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय सोशल साइंस साइंस विद डील्स विद ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट यस प्लीज बोल रहे हैं आपको अच्छा द नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज वेन वी हैव यूज दीज टर्म्स विच इज आई वुड ऑल्सो ट्राई टू रेज क्वेश्चन एंड नॉट ऑलवेज ट्राई टू आंसर दैम 
am not capable of answering all the questions no philosopher is able to or has been able to answer all the questions so we are in the same capacity we belong to human tendency so at least we will raise the question so now the point is and raising of question has started that is whether social science is related to natural science or science means we say social science or even at school level we say social studies but do people around us consider social science as science aap hum sab ka experience hai hum log jab baat karte hain logon se aur wo puchhte hain aap kya padh rahe hain to humne jitne disciplines likhe the jab hum bolte hain hum history padh rahe hain hum sociology padh rahe hain political science padh rahe hain ya even economics padh rahe hain do they consider that we are doing science ओके यस वाले भी बता सकते हैं जी एक्चुअली इन साइंस रीच टू द डिसीजन बाय डूइंग सम काइंड ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द सोशल साइंस वी आल्सो डू सम एक्सपेरिमेंट और लेबोरेटरी हेल्प चेक ओके बट डू पीपल बिलीव दैट जब हम बात करते हैं विद आवर रिलेटिव्स और फ्रेंड्स व्हेन वी से और इन ट्रेन्स वी टॉक विद देम दैट व्हाट आर यू डूइंग सम से समबडी सेस आई एम डूइंग एमएससी इन ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स देन पीपल विल से ओ but if you will say i am doing literature studies what is the popular perception and what is the popular perception of science itself and if we say social science then we have to justify that we are a science but what kind of science we are and let us go back to at least start from the term itself that is science and then we will come to epistemology of science or holistic so what is science if you will say there were few sentences which have been told science kisko bolte hain vigyan organized body of knowledge how organized it's validated through experimentation observation and uh, universality everybody is convinced organized knowledge okay let me say i have organized a set of knowledge for you will you accept it as science so i think this thing is having universal validity and is based on experimentation okay universal validity and experimentation can be verified verified theek hai kab se from what time you can trace that science has started whatever conception of science we have in mind science kab se shuru hua what conception we have in which century say science started from when jo bhi aapke paas jawab ho aap shuru kar sakte hain ki with the beginning of our making of a wheel so what conception you have and frankly speak it up this is the conception which lies beyond because we are the teachers if we have such conceptions what others will have which we can categorize as say common sensical understanding and we have different understanding we have been trained so what understanding we have let us share no problem even i don't have the clear understanding but let us discuss and then we will evolve something clarity out of that science kab se aap mante it started from when the primitive man started making generalization the basis of certain innovations he come across okay any other from so when people started because we are saying organized knowledge which include experiments and can be verified again and again and it is say universal its nature is universal that is it is applicable everywhere if people would like to prefer to hear in hindi also i can mix both of thing okay but we can mix also if uh, others would like because convey hona chahiye तो मिक्स करके भी कन्वे होगा उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो सोशल साइंस अच्छा फ्रॉम व्हेन सोशल साइंस इज स्टार्टेड विथ सेंचुरी लेटेस्ट से सोशल साइंस कब से इवॉल्व हुआ या कंस्ट्रक्ट हुआ लेट कम अप कम अप नो प्रॉब्लम कुछ नहीं होगा प्लीज ओके बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सोशल साइंस तब भी बताइए अगस्त कौन कब थे 
1873 it was 1831 he coined the term anyways so you are locating it somewhere in 19th century isn't it anyone else before that 17th 16th 15th century 14th century social science earlier it was not called as sir social science it was called as social thought not social science so there is difference between social thought and social science let us have guesses from when it started because if we'll stuck here so before that it was there social science was there 17th century who, whoever agrees tha social science Okay, it was working, but we don't know. But we will be know only when a discipline has been established. So when social science was established, simple question, and we all are maximum are social scientists. Basically, in 18th century. Now, what was specific? Let us agree that, or let me give it a framework of 16 to 18th century. So, we say 18th Shatabdi ke beech mein. Shatabdi, fir se bata deta hu. 16th century will start from 1501 to 1599. This is 16th century. 17th century will start from 1601 to 1699 this is 17th century so century is clear now let us say why basically social science because earlier also human beings were there they were thinking they were making statements about society then why social science was not there before this period even history people can help us क्यों नहीं आया 16th और 18th सेंचुरी से पहले 15th सेंचुरी में सोशल साइंस क्यों नहीं था 14th, 13th और इट वाज ओनली दैट फ्यू फिलासफर्स केम एंड दे एस्टैब्लिश्ड आई गिव सोशल साइंस इट वाज लाइक दैट so how the study is different they give it a universal uh, acceptance to these scientists laws and fundamentals of the society great they started thinking like that but what was the point which gave them this universality or acceptance of universality so every time a person start from a different point of view and then try to prove scientifically to that and then give certain laws and fundamental basic values to that but from where it came and why the people before them hypothetically hypothesis generation kind of means it might have thought it is an existing calculation that may be put into the and then so hypothesis is the probable answer when you raise a question or problem with in front of us so hypothesis is just a probable answer this can be the answer but the point is why okay let us take the different question that was we are tracing social science from here when you can trace if i'll use the term natural science for sciences we have two divisions commonly which we use that is let us take it or call it as natural sciences and i will elaborate why i am calling that natural sciences were established from which say century sciences which we say and we distribute degrees also from where we can as per your understanding we do not need bookish knowledge or anything as per whatever you consider that okay science might have started that is whatever we are saying natural science whatever assumption we have because we are going to have the definitions also and what do we mean by science then natural science or social science it will be more clear but at least we have to locate it from where to start अगर मैं ये नहीं बता सका तो मैं आपको एपिस्टेमोलॉजी ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस कैसे बताऊंगा इसीलिए लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम व्हिच हैज बीन रिटन इन द आर्टिकल्स 
that we assume so we know but we don't know and this is one of the major problem in our teaching learning which is that we are as teachers in the capacity of teachers we have to know then only we can train further but there are and this is not related to us remove this lot bring some other lot the situation will be same there will be no changes majorly although I am not claiming there will be always equal equation but the changes will be like that so we have to go into details and the point is uh, okay let us tell uh, or make the question more flexible sabse zada inventions in which century most of the inventions or discoveries were made twentieth 16th good anyone else inventions and discoveries bulk shurwati invention aapko kaun se yaad hai what things were invented initially which we also or our uh, kids also learn columbus ne discover kiya theek hai initial things which were invented electricity franklin same engine James Watt, printing press, printing press Gutenberg, gravity, gravity, gravity Newton, telephone, telephone Graham, 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 Bell. Graham Bell, okay. Or बताइए, bulb, Edison. Edison. These were the initial inventions which we all know. Before that, if you want to place something, now let us focus on centuries. Bulb, gramophone. telephone electricity almost if we'll say a major view will be it will lie between 16 to 18th century so the point which i want to bring from here is that when these invention and discoveries started it resulted into the evolution or construction of that is one point is there is something correlation between these two because both of them lie in the same time period domain when they were constructed now we will go back and see let us see some definition and then we can find the differences so if we will raise the question that what is science uh, we have to use a word which is called as scientia which means simply knowledge now how humans are different we have to use philosophy over that that is why not chimpanzees are sitting in this room or ducks are sitting here or one donkey is teaching and monkeys are listening why it is not there so the power of reasoning reflective thinking and intelligence the use of intelligence okay great so who is the philosopher who says that is i am trying to differentiate between humans and animals what is that difference how we are different they don't have intellect they have language to communicate they can't use it in that that manner which so what is the basic difference which you can and explain me anything as i am a student of sixth class this is the best way to explain anybody because what we do is when we have to explain something we use synonyms similar names and we say what is norm norm is value what is value value is norm kya hasil aaya we cannot understand anything like that so we have to try to explain it like we are explaining the whole issue or problem to a sixth class student and then he or she can understand so let's again come back to the question so what is the basic difference which we can identify i will tell you what descartes says rene descartes it was like you were saying language is there you were saying uh, use of intellect use of intellect really to receive knowledge retain knowledge and retrieve knowledge and apply knowledge okay so do we have any term for that creative thinking creative thinking is one reflectivity, reflectivity. okay the difference between humans and animals is that which rene descartes is saying that they can also think a dog does not jumps into a well they understand they think but there is difference between their thinking and 
human thinking which is basically and why i am telling this because these all things these foundations leads towards construction of social science so the difference was reflexivity that is humans and here animals they can think we can think but the difference is they are what rene descartes says them as automata and we are that is they work in automatic mode we work with this reflexivity we can we have the ability to think and reflect that is why think and reflect so in that reflection mode whatever we have done earlier we will not repeat it again if it was a failure we will only repeat the successful events although this is not here in animals and how it comes the basis is critical thinking and which rene descartes says as soul that is humans have soul the thinking ability which animals doesn't have this one the one difference here i would like to uh, bring your attention towards karl marx also marx has a different point marx says ki ye sab kuch nahi hai bhai एनिमल्स और ह्यूम में डिफरेंस इससे नहीं होता वो भी सोचते हैं हम भी सोचते हैं मार्क्स ने बोला एंड एज यू नो और मोस्ट ऑफ अस ऑल नो बिकॉज मार्क्स इज स्प्रेडेड थ्रू आउट डिसिप्लिन हर डिसिप्लिन में मार्क्स इज देयर सो वट इज द डिफरेंस मार्क्स सेट एंड दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इज मार्क्स इज ह्यूम वेन स्टार्टेड द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑल दम बड़ी कैन से ये तो थिंकिंग एबिलिटी से ही आएगा बट production out of the materials or commodities which have we have in surrounding karl marx says just for information we are doing this we'll go back to descartes again he says when humans started producing ability this differentiates humans from animals this was one of the another major point which i would like to bring here anyways let's go back to descartes which says that this is the critical ability which has led now this ability is turned into or is transferred further by addition that i have received i would add something to that and will transfer it further which is we call as culture means how this abilities will be transferred to future generations with additions or subtractions also we do not only add to previous knowledge we subtract also माइनस भी करते हैं ना पिछले की नॉलेज खराब थी जैसे कुछ मेडिसिन हैं जो पहले चलती थी नाउ वी हैव स्टॉप देम यूजिंग सो इट इज नॉट ओनली एडिशन वी आल्सो डिलीट फ्यू मिस्टेक्स आउट ऑफ दैट एंड दिस इज हाउ नॉलेज इज ट्रांसफर टू फर्दर जनरेशन थ्रू कल्चर दिस वाज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ह्यूम एंड एनिमल्स नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग कॉम्प एंड will take you towards history again which was we have used these terms also which were two terms which are renaissance and enlightenment we have heard majority of us is there any difference between the two renaissance हिंदी कोई बता सकता है और एनलाइटनमेंट की पुनर्जागरण आप फिर से जग गए ठीक है एक मान लेता हूं दोनों में से फिर एनलाइटनमेंट की शायद हिंदी मेरे पास ऐसे एक डिक्शनरी रखी है मैं उसमें नहीं वो एग्जैक्ट टर्म नहीं है खैर विल गो दैट बट वी हैव हर्ड दिस इंग्लिश टर्म्स renaissance and enlightenment is there any difference sir so renaissance may be a social term the total revamp of that particular society enlightenment may be personal when you uh, gain knowledge at the spiritual level may be like and here comes again one of our objectives why we have included music literature those disciplines into this workshop because here it will come how they will fall into these categories of renaissance or enlightenment because the first point is if you are in a condition of suppression and here we are going back to the centuries of or say basically where the disciplines or science started so we are always saying towards west 
this is the general answer we say and within west basically uh, the center was Europe isn't it within Europe basically there were as you say in the enlightenment era what things change and over that would be now interesting to understand out of these social conditions that is there was suppression feudal society was there Raja ne zameen baat di niche knights unki army now they will pay tax to king in response they will provide their army to the king this was the holistic system although a bit different from our zamindari system or feudal system but the suppression and exploitations were there people who were king and his noblemen were receiving best of the rights or they were having access to the rights other masses were suppressed exploited jo simple movies mein aap dekhte hain lagan ya tax jitna liya jata hai unse that was extreme they were facing these problems in their trouble times so out of that basically the point is when you are in problem or extreme kind of suppression how do you express yourself by writing by singing by making something like painting or by writing uh, by writing research papers how do humans express themselves when they are in extreme certain or conditions of exploitation suppression how do they express themselves and if you will hold this demarcation you will hold what is the difference between renaissance and enlightenment we express and there it comes and why it comes will i will also tell what is the difference that we express in the forms of arts and which were that is the best expression you can make statues out of your anger or showing your disapproval a painting a burst a song or you can write literature that is adding it with fiction not saying that i have faced so you will not write i autobiography but you will write fiction you will represent those problems into those artistic forms and this was the form which is related to en renaissance okay now let us take the second part which is enlightenment and the hub of this enlightenment was again we have to see europe what is that this was when your expressions the common expression out of those problems accumulate and gets transformed into ideas these ideas are regularly discussed between those people and the concept of cafe coffee day aapne suna hai na ccd coffee peeniye kahan chale ccd people say now these were how they came basically in europe coffee shops were there where people used to sit for hours long hours and used to discuss these problems and out of those discussion they try to formulate ideas that we are in the same they were simple questions were there they were saying hum sab kaam karte hain king is enjoying his noble man is enjoying and we are in suppression always we are facing these troubles why these questions started emerging first they started emerging and you have to see those artistic pieces which people made in those eras when basically you will find large bursts of humans individuals naked individuals why because earlier the society was focusing on holistic society that is whatever religion has said and religious has made king you have to work for them later on the idea whole center shifted towards individual no the whole is not important the individual is important and that is why you will feel or you will find individual persons expressed in those bursts statues or paintings bade bade log dikhaye jane lage unhone kaha ye raja ye puri society ke liye hum kaam kare hum hi problem mein rahe wo important nahi hai मेरा काम मुझे खुशी देना चाहिए 
कौन इंपॉर्टेंट है इंडिविजुअल दैट इज वाई इट केम टू द सेंटर पहले कौन इंपॉर्टेंट था होलिस्टिक सोसाइटी ओ यू हैव टू वर्क फॉर द सोसाइटी एंड फॉर गेट यू हैव टू सर्व ओनली पीपल स्टार्टेड आस्किंग मैं सर्व ही क्यों करता रहूं भाई तुम बस सर्विंग लेते रहो मैं सर्व करता रहूं दीज क्वेश्चन स्टार्टेड एंड दीज वर डिस्कस इन दीज कॉफी शॉप और हमारे सीसीडी में क्या डिस्कस होता है वो मुझे बताने की जरूरत नाउ इफ दिस इज क्लियर सो दिस वॉज एट द लेवल ऑफ आइडियाज वेयर थिंग स्टार्टेड एक्यूमुलेटिंग वेन वी विल डिस्कस इतने सारे लोग मिलकर हम अपनी सारी प्रॉब्लम शेयर करेंगे वी कैन फॉर्मुलेट वन आइडिया हाउ टू सॉल्व इट दिस वॉज द सेम थिंग विच वॉज डन इन दिस पीरियड ऑफ enlightenment how they will solve it earlier they were expressing it there was no solution they were offering they were just expressing ki hamari problems kya hai theek this is the difference now i would like to bring within europe the basis and out of which science will emerge or not emerge let us see the basis was in any society but we are taking that society which we have focused that was 16 to 18 सेंचुरी वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग हु वॉज एट द टॉप किंग किंग से भी कोई बड़ा था यूरोपियन सोसाइटी फॉलोज मेजरली विच रिलीजन क्रिश्चियंस तो किंग से बड़ा कोई होता है रिलीजियस गुरुज विच आर कॉल्ड एज पोप्स और जो चर्च में काम करते थे क्लर्गी प्रीस्ट एंड क्लर्गी ठीक है इनका डोमिनेंस था नाउ ह्यूमन वर ऑफ दिस इंक्विजिटिव नेचर फ्रॉम द इनिशियल पीरियड दे वर लुकिंग एट दी क्लाउड्स हाउ लाइटनिंग इज हैपनिंग दे वर लुकिंग एट द रेन बारिश क्यों हो रही है दे ट्राइड टू अंडरस्टैंड बट नॉट वर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड जब हम नहीं एबल होते हैं वी आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी डू जब हम किसी चीज को समझ नहीं पाते व्हाट वी डू किसके सहारे छोड़ देते हैं ऑन रिलीजन और गॉड दैट इज वट एवर इज नॉट इन कंट्रोल ऑफ अस और बियॉन्ड आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी पुट इट इन टू दोमेन ऑफ लेट एस पुट इट लाइक रिलीजन और वट एवर मे बी बेसिकली दिस जो हमारे कंट्रोल में नहीं है जब तक कंट्रोल में है जब तक डॉक्टर कहेगा आप जब वायरल का दवाई लेने जाते हैं वेन यू गो टू डॉक्टर विजिट फॉर डॉक्टर एंड से दैट आई नीड आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम वायरल और फीवर एंड देन यू से द डॉक्टर से इज ओके यू विल बी फाइन बिकॉज थिंग्स आर इन कंट्रोल ऑफ द बट इफ यू विल गो विद से एक्यूट काइंड ऑफ कैंसर देन यू विल लुक टूवर्ड्स Along with doctor, you will look towards. और हिंदी पिक्चरों में तो आपने देखा होगा अब इनको दवा की नहीं बस छोड़ दिया वहां से ठीक है द पॉइंट इज वट एवर इज नॉट विद इन आवर हैंड्स ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग और ग्रेस्पिंग पावर वी पुट दो थिंग्स इन टू रिलीजियस डोमेन नाउ रिलीजन वॉज वेरी डोमिनेंट हेयर इन बिटवीन सिक्सटीन टू एटीन सेंचुरी इन यूरोप द पॉइंट वॉज Now religion, how religion tells? So religion was telling कि बारिश कैसे होती है Religion was also telling बिजली क्यों चमकती है And there are many versions. Still we can find, like uh, the स्मॉल पॉक्स और चिकन पॉक्स रिलीजन बोलता है ना कैसे होता है माता आई छोटी माता बड़ी माता आती है वी हैव डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट रिलीजन वी हैव प्रॉब्लम विच आर एक्सप्लेन थ्रू रिलीजन और रिलीजियस बिलीफ Isn't it? Pilia, अभी भी लोग झड़वाने जाते हैं जॉन्डिस दैट इज दे आर ट्राइंग टू क्योर इट फ्रॉम रिलीजियस बिलीव बट द पॉइंट इज दिस रिलीजियस एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ आयदर रेन और लाइटनिंग और वट एवर थिंग इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज स्टिल पीपल से वो भगवान नाराज हैं वो बारिश कर रहे हैं या खुश हैं तो बारिश कर रहे हैं बोलते हैं God is happy or angry, and then rain is coming or whatever. So the point is how religion explains, and we are focusing at the processes which were happening. Religion reveals with the authority of religion these people, the Pope, priests, and clergymen who work within the church. And these were, ab change kar dijiye, dusri society mein dusra naam le dijiye. रिलीजन के इन्हीं लोगों का 
जो डोमिनेट करते हैं हाउ डू दे टेल ये क्यों हुआ तो बाबा जी बोलेंगे आपने तीन कोने के पराठे खाए थे इसलिए हुआ गोल पराठे बनाइए ठीक है द पॉइंट इज एंड वी हैव टू गो बैक टू द हिस्ट्री ऑल्सो वी हैव टू सी दे रिवील विच इज नॉट चैलेंज और नॉट एक्सपेरिमेंटेड और नॉट वेरीफाइड नाउ द टर्न केम out of this enlightenment era there was revolutions revolutions hui european society mein those revolutions the whole structure social structure jitna pehle ka social system tha usko crash kar diya gaya and there emerged a new system because it was not focusing on individuals they were benefiting the kings and popes or religious people only so masses revolted against that The Pope was put behind the bars. Pope को आप समझिए किसी religious guru को jail में डाल देना 16th और 18th century में अभी हाल फिलहाल एक guru को डाला गया था What was the result? We all know. And this is 21st century. हम बात कर रहे हैं 16th और 18th century की Pope. Pope कितना strong होता है We all know. उसको जेल के पीछे डाल देना आप समझ रहे हैं सोसाइटी में क्या हालत चल रही होगी वट वॉज द कंडीशन इन द सोसाइटी वेन पीपल वर एबल टू पुट पोप बिहाइंड दैट सो द पॉइंट वॉज द होल पीपल रिवोल्टेड किंग वॉज किल्ड आपका यह सिस्टम नहीं चलेगा द प्रीवियस सिस्टम द इनिशिएटेड न्यू सिस्टम वेयर द डिमांड वॉज विच वी ऑल नो वर लिबर्टी इक्वालिटी एंड fraternity that is what does we mean out of that that is every individual is equal to everyone or should be equal in front of law if we are submissive in front of state state should be equal or should be the treatment should be equal with all of us this was the idea state in the shape of monarchy itself raja ka hi maan lete hain lekin wo sabse बराबरी का व्यवहार करेगा अलग अलग नहीं कर सकता ये डिमांड थी नाउ दिस डिमांड बेसिकली और जब आपने ये सिस्टम तोड़ दिया देर केम अभी भी एक चीज बची दैट वॉज इंक्विसिटिवनेस हो कैसे रही हैं फिर चीजें सो दिस वॉज द टर्न फ्रॉम वेयर विच थिंग हेल्प नाउ सेकेंड थिंग विच वी वर इनिशियली डिस्कसिंग द इन्वेंशन एंड डिस्कवरी इज हेल्प इन दिस सिचुएशन ये बीच में आ जाती है दे हेल्प पीपल पीपल स्टार्टेड इन्वेंटिंग पहले क्या था आप सिंपली समझिए देर वॉज लाइट इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इट विल गो इन द इवनिंग और नाइट सो पीपल वर कंस्ट्रेंड नाउ एडिसन गेव दम बल्ब बोला लो रात में भी उजाला हमारे लिए तो कॉमन है फॉर दो पीपल हु वर इनिशियली सींग की रात में भी उजाला हो सकता है इट वॉज सो सरप्राइजिंग इट वॉज सो अमेजिंग फॉर दैम ओके यू ऑल नो हाउ दिस राइट ब्रदर्स मेड एरोप्लेन्स एंड द आइडिया वॉज कंसिडर्ड वेदर ह्यूमन्स कैन फ्लाई अभी भी बोले हम ऐसे कि एक एल्यूमिनियम का बॉक्स होगा उसमें 70 80 लोग बैठेंगे एंड दे विल फ्लाई इन द एयर किस टाइम की बात कर रहे हैं हम 19th ले आते हैं लेट इज ब्रिंग 19 व्हाट हाउ पीपल हैव रिस्पॉन्डेड टू देम पागल हो गया क्या सेवेंटी एट्टी लोग हवा में उड़ेगा within a box and what right brothers have attempted you all know tying wings to their arms they tried and whatever they and they failed also but later they succeeded the point was these invention and discoveries and here comes very important person who was newton and we all consider newton as a as a one of the greatest scientist but you know these conditions were like that even newton was also a theological scientist mane newton ki jo science hum mante hain newton also explained things based on religion ye itni jaldi connection toot nahi jata this is not breakable at one instance the point is that so newton is also or was also theologist theologists are those people who explain anything any phenomena on the basis of religion, religion or religious beliefs which is different from scientists now the point was 
<coughs> these are invention and discoveries and within that I would like to give only one example of uh, Newton's law there were three laws of Newton okay one if anyone can tell first law this was the first anyways we can use anyone but uh, which was the first anybody will remain stable or remain in motion until and unless worked upon by an external force or blah 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 whatever let us take a simple one which was every action has a equal and opposite reaction so out of this what we can gain and what was the difference from previous understanding the gaining here is that humans are now becoming capable of or let us say take this formula this was also by him also f is equal to m into force is equal to mass into hum sab ne 6th class tak khub ratta maar ke we have done that but the point is how this equation is important to us to whole of our understanding the point was this equation made humans feel capable that we can control present which was earlier based on those religious explanations either tumhare past se jodte the ya future se agar problems hai to kya bolte the you might have done something wrong in your past life that is why you are facing problems or they will say oh you are facing problem in future things will be fine so this was religious explanation but here the point comes is which was now humans have developed those out of these inventions and discoveries even you can simply take the the uh, examples of crossing over the seas voyages earlier people were thinking that uh, by an end we will reach and we will drop out of the earth it is flat now these things are changing with columbus and other people so things are with these inventions and degree uh, discoveries the point which this equation is important to understand is that it is giving this capacity strength to humans individuals that yes we can control the present situation that is why when you step up on your accelerator you know this is riding on 60 or 70 or you when you push the throttle you know that it is riding on 60 or 70 this is the capacity you know that if i will put on the uh, switch on the kya bolte hain button light will be there you have this confidence that is why you go and switch it off or switch it off whatever you do this is the control we have on this capacity which comes out of this which is called as now these are the two premises what i was saying these are the two premises and this one is that is science was based and which science we are talking about 16th 18th 19th century science was based upon two premises two bases first one was newtonian model now what comes out of newtonian model i have explained anyone has question you can ask here कोई भी डाउट किसी को भी हो यहाँ पर कि न्यूटन के मॉडल पे साइंस का पहला पैर या बेसिस उस पर डिपेंड करता था दैट दिस इक्वेशन और न्यूटन्स एनालिसिस गेव बेसिकली दी कॉन्फिडेंस टू अंडरस्टैंड और कंट्रोल दी प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन विच कैन बी व्हाट वी वर डिस्कसिंग सर सोइएगा नहीं विच कैन बी कि कैसे हम वेरीफाई कर सकते हैं यू कैन वेरीफाई दिस अगेन एंड अगेन and this becomes universal that was the point now there comes second premise of science of 16 to 18th century or we can say 19th century science kis pe based tha pehla premise pehla basis ye dusra basis laate hain yahan par rene descartes fir se aata hai jisko hum kehte hain cartesian dualism kuch nahi hai rene descartes ke jo ideas the they are called as cartesian dualism now what does it means इन्होंने तो पढ़ ली साइंस और ये साइंस जिसकी हम बात कर रहे हैं दिस इज बेस्ड अपॉन इफ यू विल सी अराउंड अस दिस इज बेस्ड अपॉन द एलिमेंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन नेचर एलिमेंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन नेचर आर स्टडीड बाय दोज साइंसेस व्हिच वी कॉल एज नेचुरल साइंस This was the explanation of natural science. 
now we are also elements within nature humans are also within nature then we should be also studied within this or we are different हमारे चारों तरफ पेड़ है टेबल है डेस्क है बॉटल है प्लास्टिक है गोल्ड है एल्यूमिनियम है दीज आर ऑल नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स एयर है वाटर है एंड विच एवर साइंस स्टडीज देम इज कॉल्ड एज और वी कैटेगराइज एज नेचुरल साइंस बिकॉज दे डील विद देयर सब्जेक्ट मैटर इज नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स नाउ इफ समबडी और सिक्स क्लास क्वेश्चन विल कम स्टूडेंट विल कम एंड विल आस भैया भैया या दीदी दीदी ये बताइए कि हम भी तो नेचुरल एलिमेंट हैं, वी आर ऑल्सो नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स हाउ वुड यू एक्सप्लेन देम मीन्स दिस फॉर्मूला अप्लाइज ऑन आस लेट एस टेक दिस वन एवरी एक्शन हैज ए इक्वल एंड अपोजिट रिएक्शन सो अ फादर ऑफ अ सन गोज एंड सेज यू स्टॉल फिफ्टी रुपीज फ्रॉम माई पॉकेट एंड स्लैप डिम सो देर विल बी इक्वल रिएक्शन फ्रॉम द सन अच्छा मुझे मारा तू भी ले भाई फॉर्मूला तो यहीं पर था ना एवरी एक्शन हैज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट एंड दैट अप्लाइज इफ आई विल थ्रो दिस ऑन द वॉल इट विल बी देयर यू ट्राई अदर थिंग्स इट विल बी देयर इज एंड इट बिकॉज वी आर डीलिंग विद नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स नाउ व्हाई डज इट अप्लाइज ऑन ह्यूमन बींग्स और लेट एस टेक दिस वन Force is equal to mass into acceleration. Also, okay. Let us refine more. वो छोटा सा बच्चा that kid. Why didn't that kid slapped her father or his father? This wall. If you will punch on this wall with whatever force you will punch, you will feel the same force on your hand. Let us replace this wall with that kid. now what is the difference between wall and the kid please 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 come boliye boliye jo bhi aa raha ho answer what is the difference between this wall and that kid wall is lifeless lifeless and more than that it is not kid is not rigid the point <laughs> rigid in what terms the point is wall cannot think who can think that kid can think now this thinking kid when enters 11th or 12th the father now doesn't beat the kid because there are more chances his thinking reshapes he may give the up or prove that equation isn't it so thinking change also this is not when he was small and he will big become uh, bigger then he will not respond the thinking also change and why doesn't when you beat others why doesn't they respond equally it applies because every now the one point is we all think number one second important point is we all think differently each one of us every human being thinks differently this was actually what rene descartes was trying to tell this is called as cartesian dualism that